How's it going, people? I just got through reading uh, chapter 15 of Third Nephi in this book. So, I thought I would uh, go ahead and get a little more of this red, even though it's not as fun. Oh, and the music is a wonderful band called Piano Chocolate. And you can find them on the website jamindo.com. You can download them for free, but you can also give them money if you want to donate. Or if you just want to tell them, hey, I liked it. That's cool, too. All right. Let's do this. Right, section two of Doctrine and Covenant. Let's see if we can learn some, something today. Words spoken by Moroni, the angel, to Joseph Smith the prophet, while in his father's house at Manchester, New York, on the evening of September 21st, 1823. Ancient history, ain't it? See History of the Church, Volume 1, page 12. <coughs> Moroni was the last of a long line of historians. That's fucking funny. Historians, huh? Okay, where was I? <laughs> Historians. I'm still at the masthead, folks. Who had made the record of this now before the world is the Book of Mormon? That's a lottery ticket. <laughs> Pray for me, folks. I'll never tell. All right. Moroni was, a, yeah, historians who made a record. Uh, Book of Mormon, okay. Uh, compare Malachi 4 5. Five, six, uh, chapter four, five through six. Uh, see also sections 27, 9, and 110, 13 through 16. Make sure to do that. Me, I'm just going to keep reading straight through. I'll get there eventually. But I'm not going to jump around. Sorry. <sighs> okay. Verse 1 of section 2 of DNC. Behold, I will reveal unto you the priesthood by the hand of Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Two. And he shall plant in the hearts of the children the promises made to the fathers. And the hearts of the children shall turn to their fathers. Three. 
If it were not so, the whole earth would be utterly wasted at his coming. Well, I'm already halfway there already. <laughs> That's the end of section two. And I'm feeling surly. So let's read section three. What the fuck? Revelation. Given to Joseph Smith the prophet at Harmony, Pennsylvania, July 1828, but we don't know what day it was. It was sometime in 1828, July. We got it narrowed down somewhat. Good work, guys. Relating to the loss of certain manuscripts. That explains it. They lost the, those the manuscripts that would have uh, explained that shit. Of the first part of the Book of Mormon. Oh, that's not the same thing. Oh. Which Joseph had, Joseph had reluctantly allowed to pass from his custody to that of Martin Harris, who had served for a brief period as scribe in the transcription of the Book of Mormon. Yeah, we all know that story. I won't go into it. Uh, maybe I will. All right. His wife stole those pages and said, Joseph Smith, the prophet, could reproduce them. And he said God got mad and decided, fuck those pages. Fuck that whole book. We're going to do it differently. But it's a translation from a gold book anyway. Uh, where the fuck am I? All right. Martin Harris, there we go, who had served for a brief period as scribe in the translation of the Book of Mormon. You're good at using people, aren't you, Joseph? They're so useful. This revelation was given through the Urim and Thummim Mim, 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 mim. Something like that. Thumb and mim, mim. <laughs> See, History of the Church, Volume 1, page 21. Compare Section 10, which I'm not going to do because I'm reading straight through. All right, Section 3, verse 1. The works and the designs and the purposes of God cannot be frustrated. <laughs> Neither can they come to naught, wherever that is. <laughs> Nowhere, apparently. Two, for God doth not walk in crooked paths. Neither doth he turn to the right hand, nor to the left, either one. Neither doth he vary from that which he hath said. Oh, all right, let's just read. All right. Therefore his path, paths, are straight and his course is one eternal round whatever the fuck that means if you know chime in comment section is wide open response videos are automatic god damn it what the fuck people <laughs> every christian channel's all 
Blocked friends only! Ah! Ah! <laughs> but say whatever you want, I don't give a fuck. You can do it. Just if you spam me, I'm gonna get mad. No spam! That's it, okay? Say what you want. I don't give a fuck. Alright. Three! Remember! Remember! That it is not the work of God that is frustrated, but the work of men. For, for, although a man may have many revelations, and have power to do many mighty works. Yet, if he boasts in his own strength, and set at naught the counsels of God, and follows after the dictates of his own will and carnal desires, he must fall and incur the vengeance of a just God upon him. Five. Behold, you have been entrusted with these things, but how strict were your commandments? And remember also the promises which were made to you if you do not transgress them. Six. And behold, how oft you have transgressed the commandments and the laws of God. God, God damn it. God. God said that shit, and you fucking disobeyed. According to him. And have gone on the persuasions of men. Fallible human beings. What the fuck is wrong with you people? There's a magical sky daddy you could be asking. He'll fix every fucking thing. If you fucking grovel enough or not I mean if it's his will you're fucked you're fucked sorry alright seven for behold you should not have feared man more than God yeah I don't think so Although men said it not, the counsels of God, I, I wouldn't set him at not if he gave them to me personally. And since he's fucking almighty, and it ain't, it ain't nothing to him, and I'm pretty fucking terrific. I mean, he wants to throw this away? What the fuck is wrong with him? Just because I do this a lot? I'm not that bad, actually. I'm a pretty decent guy. I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true, right? You have faith in me, right? I lost my place again, and I don't care. All right. Although men said it not, the counsel of God and despise his words. And that's... I made it. <laughs> Eight. Yet, you should have been faithful, and he would have extended his arm and supported you. I don't need any support. I just need to keep... I just need to stay gainfully employed and keep saving money. I'm doing all right. No problem.
I don't need any support, damn it. Uh, his arm, extended his arm and supported you. I can see how that's appealing when they extol weaklings and simpletons in this book. I mean, it, they did it in the fucking last section. You're weak and dumb. Perfect! <laughs> Fuck you! I'm not that weak and dumb. Do it all right. <sighs> Against all the fiery darts, the adversary of the adversary and he would have been with you in every time in t of trouble <laughs> nine behold thou art Joseph Joseph who doesn't have a fucking clue what's ahead Mr. Prophet That's all right, I'll find it. <laughs> Behold, that's verse 9. <laughs> Behold, thou art Joseph. And thou wast chosen to do the work of the Lord. Since all those other schemes weren't panning out. He did the L. Ron Hubbard uh, route and made a new religion. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, nine. Behold, thou art Joseph, and thou art chosen to do the work of the Lord. But because of transgression, if thou art not aware, thou wilt fall. Aha! Mr. Prophecy. Ten. But remember, just one time this time, God is merciful. Therefore, repent. Of that which thou hast done, which is contrary to the commandment which I gave you, and thou art still chosen, and art again called to the work. Eleven, except thou do this. Thou shalt be delivered up and become as other men and have no more gift. Fuck you, right? They're gone. We don't like you anymore. We're taking away your magical powers. Twelve. This book is fucking suck-advancing, isn't it? I'm probably making new Mormons right now. Some drunk guy on YouTube making Mormons. And that's fucking hilarious. Twelve. And when thou deliverest of that which God has had given thee, sight and power to translate. Yeah, what's up with, uh, what, uh, don't call somebody, what, there's Mammon and Rami or Rai or some shit. I don't remember anymore. Uh, and I don't want to look it up. Um, uh, why did he translate certain words? I mean, the King James Version didn't, and he didn't either. But he's got a, a fucking magic rock in his hat. 
He's got a se he's got a seer stone in his hat. God damn it! So he should have translated, like, what? Don't call somebody rabbi, something like that. And don't worship mammon. In this book, a perfect book, and he didn't fucking translate those words because they weren't translated in the KGV, KJV, King James Version. Too drunk to abbreviate. All right, twelve. And he, and when thou deliverest up that which God hath had given thee sight and power to translate, thou deliverest up that which was sacred into the hands of a wicked man. Your first scribe. You don't like him anymore, huh? He fell, out of, he fell out of grace. He's going to hell. Damn him. Thirteen. Who has set at naught the counsels of God and has broken at the most sacred promises which were made before God and has depended upon his own judgment. Fuck! I'm scared. And boasted of his own judgment. Well, that isn't bad taste. Don't blow your own horn, but you can get somebody else to do it. Personally. Never mind. Uh, Thirteen! God damn it, I'm out of fear. That's unlucky. Who has said at not the counsels of God? And has broken the most sacred promises and has broken the most sacred promises which were made before God and has depended upon his own judgment and boasted in his own wisdom. Fourteen. And this is the reason that thou hast lost thy privileges for a season. Just one season. And then they're back. Fifteen. For thou hast suffered the counsel of thy director to be trampled upon from the beginning, it's your fucking, your fucking fault. According to this, it's your fucking fault. It's your fucking fault. And I don't have a Bible handy, so fuck it. You know what? You get it. It's your fault. Don't expect shit. You don't deserve it. But believe it anyway, and suck ass. I think not. All right. Oh shit, there's a drink here. Hang on, I saw it, but I did the highlighting. I haven't done any highlighting in this book. I haven't read ahead. I have it on audio and it sucks so bad I turned it off and decided to read it, read this cold. Nevertheless, my work shall go forth, for inasmuch as the knowledge of a of a Savior has come unto the world, even the testimony of the Jews, 
Even so, shall the knowledge of a Savior come unto my people. Seventeen. And to the Nephites, and the Jacobites, and the Josephites, the Josephites, huh? And the Zoromites, through the testimony of their fathers. 18. And this testimony shall come to the knowledge of the Lamanites, and the Lamanites, and the Ishmaelites, who dwindled in unbelief because of the iniquity of their fathers, whom the Lord has suffered to destroy their brethren the Nephites because of their abominations, of their iniquities and abominations. God damn it. I do have some scotch. I don't know if it's a good idea putting it on top of absinthe, but I don't really have much left. We'll just take a little one. How's that? Ah, that's so nice. Ah. Nineteen for this very purpose are these plates. Preserved, which contain these records that the promises of these records that that the promises of the Lord might be fulfilled, which he made to his people. He owns them. Hands up, they're his. Twenty! And that the Lamanites might come to the knowledge of their fathers, and that they might know the promises of the Lord, and that they may believe the gospel. And the Lamanites, he's talking about American Indians now. I mean, this is 18, uh, what is it? 28. 18 fucking 28. Lamanites. <sighs> and that they might know the of the promises of the Lord and that they may believe the gospel believe it damn it or else start with it start with babies and keep feeding this shit and they'll believe it for life <laughs> that they may, be may believe the gospel and rely and rely because you're weak and simple right if you're not what the fuck is wrong with you I'm no genius and I can fucking see through this shit alright and rely upon the merits of Jesus Christ and be glorified through faith in his name 
faith is a fancy word for gullibility, folks. And that through their repentance, they might be saved a fucking man. Which, I added a word, guess which one. <laughs> and that's uh, the end of section three. And that's it for now. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. And I'm, I'm sorry. I had to do it. And I'm not done. Please stay tuned. Even though it sucks. Bye.